gather around the fire, and let's dive into the haunting tale of Dennis Nilsson, the Muswell Hill murderer, a man whose name still sends shivers down the spines of those who lived through his reign of terror in London during the late 1970s and early 1980s. From a young age, Nilsson's life was marked by turmoil and isolation. His relationship with his father was strained, and he often felt like an outsider struggling to connect with those around him. These formative experiences would set the stage for his later descent into darkness. He exhibited troubling behavior at an early age. He developed an unsettling obsession with dead animals, an ominous foreshadowing of the horrors that would unfold in his adult life. After leaving the military, Nilsson moved to London, where he was forced to grapple with his sexuality in a society that was far from accepting. Despite maintaining an outwardly normal appearance, the inner turmoil he experienced only fueled the twisted desires that would soon consume him. Between 1978 and 1983, Dennis Nilsson embarked on a horrifying killing spree, targeting vulnerable young men who were often homeless or living transient lifestyles. He would lure these unsuspecting individuals back to his apartment with promises of food, shelter, and companionship. Once inside, Nilsson would supply his victims with alcohol before strangling them to death. However, the true depths of Nilsson's depravity did not end with the act of murder. He would engage in a ritualistic process of bathing and dressing the bodies of his victims, keeping them in his apartment for weeks or even months. His chilling confession would later reveal that he believed the dead bodies provided him with a sense of companionship offering a glimpse into the disturbed psyche of the seemingly mild-mannered man. As the years passed, Nilsson's dark secrets remained hidden within the walls of his apartment, but the gruesome truth would eventually come to light. In February 1983, complaints from neighbors about foul odors emanating from his residence led police to make a horrifying discovery. Inside, they found the remains of multiple young men, dismembered and discarded like trash, a chilling testament to the depths of Nilsson's madness. Nilsson's arrest sent shockwaves through the community and sparked one of the most infamous criminal trials in British history. As the details of his heinous crimes were revealed, the public struggled to reconcile the image of the quiet, unassuming man with the monster he truly was. During the trial, Nilsson showed little remorse for his actions, recounting the details of each murder with chilling precision. In November 1983, Dennis Nilsson was found guilty of six counts of murder and two counts of attempted murder receiving a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Though he spent over three decades behind bars, his name continued to haunt the public consciousness, serving as a chilling reminder of the unimaginable horrors that can lurk beneath the surface. Nilsson's case has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and films 
each attempting to unravel the enigma of his dark and twisted mind. The story of Dennis Nielsen serves as a cautionary tale of how even the most seemingly ordinary individuals can harbor unspeakable horrors beneath the surface. Though he died in 2018, his name will forever be synonymous with depravity and horror, standing as a grim testament to the fragility of the human condition. And these horrors took place in Dennis Nielsen's apartment. <laughs>